Hello, my name is Telono Barami Samuel. The direction we lean is very important every time. The subconscious not only stores reality and causes the routinization of patterns called habits, but it also deals with what we call attitudes. Now, attitude is a direction in which we are leaning. If you tend to lean towards something and try to possess the good that you perceive in it, that's most likely to be described as a positive attitude. But if you observe yourself leaning away from something because you perceive being hurt or embarrassed by something, then we would call that negative attitude. And so this means that, you know, we're not actually talking about good or bad. We're actually talking about in every circumstance, your attitude could be positive, meaning you're seeking out or moving toward, or it could be negative, meaning moving away from. You see, depending on your attitude, your attitude would actually determine to a large extent your creativity. So in other words, we're saying attitude stimulates creativity. So if it's a negative attitude, your creativity is to, you're going to be creative, but you're going to be creative in a negative way in respect to the situation or the case in point. You'll be creative to avoid or to move away from or to get out of here, to get out of a place. But should you see some object or music or people that you really enjoy the pleasure of, what would you do? You will stimulate your ideas to possess or to seek the good in the object or the goal or the situation. Guess what? You must understand attitudes are not positive or negative until there's a goal, there's a set goal. So don't just look at people and say, he's got a positive attitude, he's got a negative attitude. No. Positivity or negativity has to be relative to a point, to a goal. So that once this goal is set, the unconscious attitudes that you possess start to emerge. And when you set a new goal, when you set new goals in the future, you are probably going to be unaware of some of the present attitudes that you possess about people or positions or work or responsibility. There are a lot of things. Something within the scope will trigger an emotion that you never ever knew was there so most people uh, will set a goal and then find that they can't get themselves to do something and then what they do they quit on their goal another very important thing i needed to take away is that attitudes and beliefs are not first nature they're actually second nature or they are acquired they're learned you assimilate and accumulate emotional flavor in a coloring to certain situations or activities in your life. And um, if you have had a quantity of positive experiences, you will have a positive attitude. But if you've had a series of negative, hurtful, hateful, embarrassing, punishing experiences in your life, as you perceive a situation through your senses, you will associate with the past emotion that's been recorded in your subconscious. You will then evaluate what you are probably leaning towards and you will decide and you say, you know what? No, thank you. I'm going out. I'm, I'm getting out of this place. Don't do it. Because your experiences, they also form, they, they form part of your content. They provide content that filter into your thoughts and eventually this would... Um, reflect in your feelings your actions and then your results we all have attitudes about the colors of people about their hair their looks their tribes their race and all of that about love about the haves and the haves not the wealthy and the poor about um, gender and about all kinds of work and many of our attitudes we have picked up from our adult world uh, instilled in us by our parents, teachers, brothers and sisters, our neighbors and grandparents, not consciously, but we've acquired all of that through our own self-talk. The emotion is then stored along with the image and the conversation. So, being positive or being negative is dependent on the goal, is dependent on the, is dependent on the situation, the case in point. Always know that. So, you might be positive today here, and you might be negative tomorrow now it means that attitude is not bad it's just just bad on its own it's either positive it's negative so understanding this would also help you to see the world from different lenses and also treat people with respect not only respecting people that agree with you or that you think their attitude is positive at this point in time with regards to this or that
Thank you so much for listening. Go and succeed in. Bye for now.